hi everybody welcome back again to my channel i say thank you so much for the new subscribers i appreciate you i see you all i say thank you so much for the support so if you're a regular member and then you've been you've been in our ministry for a very long time i say welcome back again so today's video is just about mothers because mother's day is just a few days and we just want to say thank you to all mothers out there and we just want to appreciate our mothers so that is why i'm doing this video to all mothers out there to all single mothers out there to all wives out there we want to say a massive mother's day to you people we want to say a big mother's day to you as a mom as a wife i know this this topic is a very broad one i might not mention the the most or I may not mention everything in this video because I don't want this video to be as long as anything there's no there's no there's no harm of making this video long because it's just for mothers but I just don't want to bore you so I'm just gonna make it as short as possible so what I'm gonna say today is just some points that we could just reflect on and appreciate our mothers for and the first thing is let us just appreciate them because they are just the backbone they are just the backbone of the family there is no family that that doesn't appreciate or should not appreciate the work of mothers or should not appreciate the work of the wife because without them there is no way the family is going to stand the number two thing is working hard and making sacrifice i think i've said that in the backbone thing so let's just let's just bring it down to working hard and being or, or sacrificing so the thing about working hard is we, we know that mothers work hard they work hard and they make sacrifices i can i can tell because i'm a mother now and i know what i'm sacrificing i could relate to the sacrificing of our mothers then for making us to be who we are today the sacrifice that went through everything they've gone through just to make sure that we are something in life or we are a good role model to our own children as well let me just put it that way that we are a good role model to our children they work so so hard there are some mothers that they're still working till now so we appreciate you even at their old age they're still working so we appreciate you so so much and working hard even as a working mom or as a full housewife or as a stay-at-home mom you guys are amazing everyone is working hard and everyone is making sacrifices as well because i can't see why people have to stigmatize being lazy as or being a full housewife as being lazy it is not being lazy working mom as well you are amazing because for you to look after a child and then still go to work nine to five and then still come back home still do your normal normal duty as a wife and as a mother you are amazing and to full housewife moms or to stay at home's mom you too you are amazing because for you to stay at home sacrificing your time sacrificing your career sacrificing everything about you just to stay at home and look after your child or your children and look after your home you are amazing you are just amazing as well so i am not going to stand here and say oh stay at home mom are lazy or working mom are the best no we are all the best we are the same we are the best mothers are forgiven so when we say mothers are forgiven is forgiving is there is no way as children we offend our mothers or there is no way as a child that they offend we moms but at the same time we still find that that space to just forgive and to just let go there is no way once your child offend you right now the next minute you're there to cuddle her or you're there to give her a, a, a kiss or something or to assure her or to tell her that you know what what you did the other time i don't like it that's what i'm telling you of but make sure next time you don't do the, the same thing i forgive you and if i don't love you i won't correct you that's why i tell my child that if i don't love you i won't correct you because i want you to the, be the best so we having that forgiving spirit as a mother and then that spirit is just amazing so to mothers for forgiving us we say thank you point number four is our mothers have this memory brain <laughs> let me say they've got computers in their brain 
and then they open different different tabs they open the different tab for different things so why i say that is moms have this this massive memory that they know what to do at so 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 time a so 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 period a so 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 thing to do at that exact time it is not beans because for us to remember so many things at the same time and they still do our own thing as well we still have our own life to live but at the same time we're still living for our children for our family we're still we're still doing so many things for them so we just want to say for opening so many tabs in your brain and to remember every single thing you've opened in that tab you are amazing next point is mothers made us to be functioning adults or to be functioning woman being in this life or in this world especially in these our days in this our generation even though for our mothers hey forget it so people not even know they are bearing at all because why i say mothers teach us to be a functioning adult is while the child is growing up the mother is the first teacher that the child knows and everything the mother teaches the child is growing in that child the, the mother is the first person to, to teach the child your alphabet, your numbers, and then your morals. Because in that aspect, if the mother did not teach you or did not train you to be a responsible adult, you won't be where you are today. So for training us to be a responsible adult or for training us to be a responsible mom, we say thank you. It's just like being a teacher. Without a teacher, you can't be whoever you want to be in life. Without a teacher, you can't be a president, able to speak more than Igbo or more than your normal dialect. But the thing is, for the fact that she trained you to be a better adult, to be a responsible adult, she doesn't even need to go to school. She doesn't even need to do psychology before she could tell that, oh, this is, I think you're not happy. I think you're not, the, that means she's, she's got the strength. She's got that knowledge. Of being a mother of being a teacher let's just remove the aspect of being educated and part but for that psychology that she's got that means she's got that massive wisdom and knowledge so apart from taking your pen and paper to do things doesn't mean she's not learning number six point is mother's look hmm. <laughs> this mother's look here is funny but it is very very important why I say is important is I'm gonna say the important part for before I say the funny part. So why I say mother's look is so important is when your mother, the way she's training you as a child, she's trying to train you in so many ways for you to gain wisdom. Your mother look at you in a way you should understand that oh maybe my mom doesn't want to talk at this moment, but this look has a meaning, and the meaning is so 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 important for you to do what for you to to listen and understand so what i'm saying mothers look is there are some times our mothers just don't want to talk at a particular place or in front of a particular person and then she just looks at you you should be able to understand once she, i am training her as well of that same look because there are some times that you know children can misbehave sometimes and then you just don't want to say things and then the next thing you can do at some point is just to look and for me as a as a mom i've got a child once i start looking at her in fact that look you know there are some look that you won't even blink like this once i start staring at her i start staring and i'm doing my hair like this she understands that i think <laughs> something is happening i think i'm doing the wrong thing or i think i'm misbehaving and then she will start telling you that, mommy, I'm just being sensible or I'm behaving myself. I'm, did I complain or did I say anything to you? I did not say anything to you. I am just looking at you. So that look, she understands all mothers out there that have that look or that trained us that look. We say thank you. Ah, we say thank you to you. Because if it's not for that look, we won't train our children as well of that look. Or we won't train them that this look, I am looking at you as a meaning so we just want to say thank you for training us and for thank you for us to understand that look so if i am looking at you like this 
and I'm shaking my head like this. And at the same time, I'm looking at you. You should know that ah, something is going wrong somewhere. <laughs> anyway, that is just a tip of my look. That is not all my full look. I've got different kind of look, and that different kind of look, my daughter understands, and then she behaves because. I am trying not to be a better person because it is not every time that you have to open your mouth and talk. The number seven point is mothers are patient. When a child is crying, you know, there are some crying babies that once the baby start crying, forget it. All the, all the bolts on your head will just start losing without spanner will just start losing on its own. So while that is going on, you just have to be patient. And for me as a mom for being patient, I am thanking myself. And number eight point is moms are strong. Even if we are sick, we just don't want to look after our children. We just don't want to look after our homes. We just don't want to make sure everything is in place. So that woman out there going through domestic violence, going through abuse and then still standing, still standing, still pulling through, you are strong. That single mom out there that single mom looking after a child you are strong that single woman looking after a disabled child you are strong that single woman or that woman out there doing what a man can do you are strong that, that woman out there doing nine to five and still coming home to do your normal duty you are strong that woman that stays at home looking after the children looking after the home making sure that everything is in place you are strong so to all mothers that are strong i'm saying thank you the number ninth point is moms are humble <laughs> why i say moms we are humble are we not humble we are humble now moms are humble if, if we are not humble we will still be in our husband's house now Eh? and if our moms as well they are not humble they won't still sit down in their husband's house eh? so the number 10 thing is parenting hi jesus parenting hmm. parenting is a very 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 broad topic is a extremely broad topic so for our mothers that they did not even go to school they didn't go to school though. some did not go to school even our our great grandmothers that we're talking about our mothers our ancestors they didn't go to school but for them to still give us that that knowledge that natural knowledge or that natural training that natural training i think is something that we should just say kudos they did not go to eminent seminar them and then they're still we, we, they still produce good children or good or responsible adults of nowadays we say thank you to you we say thank you to because that parenting you see i just have to show around it that parenting topic is a big one so i'm just gonna say thank you for for giving us that 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 training for training us to be a responsible adult we just say thank you because all i can say is that is just parenting because for you to train a child to be a responsible adult that means you've got so many things as a parent to do and for you to do that and still produce a responsible adult you've done a great job we say thank you so number my number 11 point is moms are supportive i think i should have said something similar to that in my earlier point but this one moms are extremely supportive i'm the one that put that extreme new mom are extremely supportive and i can say that all over and over again because if our moms are not supportive most of us doing some careers right now we won't be able to do it and most of people that become what they are today they won't have achieved that because if our mothers are not supportive of our dreams of our of our thoughts of everything we won't be where we are today Thank you. A massive shout out to all moms, to all single moms, to everybody that you call yourself a woman. I'm saying a big shout out. You all are amazing. And so today, this video is just about mothers and about how we can appreciate our mothers and things and some points that 
I could just just a few points in everything a mother have been and don't forget to subscribe just press that red button like that and then there's one bagang bagang one bell down there so just click on that for me I just need two things from you just two things eh as gifts for this mother's day from you you that you're watching me if you haven't subscribed eh if you haven't subscribed subscribe please subscribe it is free absolutely free they won't charge you they will not charge you any monthly payment or anything it is free so if you are watching me right now and you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel say a massive happy mother's day to you all in advance or in areas if you're watching anytime so we just want to say we love you so much and this video is dedicated to all mothers to all mothers in the world sorry if i didn't mention anything because this is my first time of doing this kind of video trust me this is my first time of doing this kind of video and i hope you get inspired or i i hope you learn one thing or the other or you can reflect on one thing or the other i've just mentioned in my video and i hope you all enjoy it and if you enjoy it just kindly drop that comment down there in the comment section and i'll see you all in my next video bye